What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be comparing the Bissell Spot Clean Pro to the new Heart Spot Cleaner to see which one is going to be a better choice for your car detailing needs and also just for a kind of plain spot cleaning around the house. Now to start off we're going to talk price. The Heart is currently on sale for $69. Fantastic price guys. But even when it's not on sale it retails for $89 on Walmart.com. Now comparatively the Bissell retails for about $165. So if we're talking price the heart's the winner. But obviously price is not the only factor that you have to look at when you're considering these two machines. So we're going to look at a few different things like capacity, runtime, suction power, and spray power to really see which one of these might be the right choice for you. So first things first guys, the Bissell I've had for quite some time. This heart is brand new to me so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it comes with. So we pop open the box, obviously you get the unit itself, you get a couple of little black plastic pieces that you can attach to the bottom and that is going to hold your hose in position. Now aside from that you also get a little quick start guide, your manual, some cleaning solution which I'm not going to be using, I never use that. If I'm going to use any sort of cleaning solution I'm going to pre-treat the stain and then just use this with water going through it to rinse it all away. But it does come with it and of course then it also comes with your upholstery tool. This one with the heart is a 4 inch tool. Now when we compare that to the Bissell, the Bissell actually comes with two different uh, uh, upholstery tools. You get a three inch and then you also get a six inch tool. Now when comparing the components between these two they're basically the same thing. They both have a nice long extension cord. Uh, they both have a five foot hose so you're basically getting the same amount of reach with both these machines. However the solution tank on the Bissell is quite a bit larger as you can see here versus the heart. Uh, you have your solution tank on the left hand side, your reclamation tank on the right hand side whereas the Bissell everything just kind of falls in from the top and sits in there nicely. The power button on the Bissell also is this nice big push button on the side here really easy to access versus the heart is just a little switch underneath the handle. So for me personally I like the Bissell a little bit better in that situation especially with the bigger tanks. Now in order to test the actual tank capacity of these two units, I'm going to go ahead and fill them up, fill them completely full, as full as they can go and I'm going to pour them into a measuring bucket. So the Bissell is up first and comes in at 3 liters of capacity for your cleaning solution side. Again, with me I just use water in it but you can add a cleaning solution in it but regardless, 3 liters of capacity. Now the next one is the heart and this one the fill cap is here so you can actually get it under. I was thinking initially that this might be nice, it would fit easier under a sink to try and fill it up but the sink that I have here in my shop is pretty shallow so both of these didn't work for me. I had to fill it up with the water source out at the front of my shop. However, if you have a regular sink, like a deep sink, either of these is going to be equally easy to fill up. Now after filling up the tank on the heart machine and then pouring that into my measuring uh, bucket, it shows us that the heart has a 2 liter capacity for the solution tank versus the 3 on the Bissell. So as far as capacity goes, the Bissell is the winner for that. So now let's go ahead and talk overall design. So as far as the heart goes guys, I really like the colors that they use. I think the unit looks really clean and really nice. Um, but the hose storage isn't the best because this can kind of fall off and stay down which isn't, it just isn't ideal. Now the Cord storage in the back is perfect and you can loosen it and all that's really nice. Again, same thing, the storage for the upholstery tool is perfect. And then one thing to know with the heart machine is you have this little hose cleaning port where you can actually take the upholstery tool off, stick it in there and it'll kind of help to clean it out. However, this machine is much wider than it is thick and that creates a little bit of a pivoting point. Um, not bad at all, it's just it is a little bit more of a narrow base. Versus the Bissell, cord storage is fantastic right on the side. Again, this piece spins too so you can just remove the whole thing really nicely. Hose storage is also super nice and stays put. There's even a little latch here that, so you can take the upholstery tool in and out. So really good there. Again, the power button's nice, the tanks up top is really nice and it is a wider base more compact kind of lower center of gravity so it stays in place a little bit better. So again for overall design I'm going to go with even though I like the looks of the heart better, the Bissell I, I, is going to win this one as well. It's just It just feels more sturdy. Now next up for these two units we're going to be testing the water spray. Uh, why is that important? Well the more power injecting into it can, can loosen up the stain and help suck it away. So in order to test that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to fill the tank completely. I'm going to set up my bucket again. I'm going to pull the trigger. We're going to set a timer and we'll just watch the water get drained down into the bucket and we'll see how long it takes for it to go. So we're going to start off with the heart machine. Again I'm just going to turn it on, spray it into an empty bucket and then we'll measure the water once it stops spraying. So with the heart it took about 3 minutes and 51 seconds to empty out its 2 liter capacity. Now moving on to the Bissell, doing the exact same test here guys and the Bissell took 7 minutes and 10 seconds to empty out its 
three liter capacity. So as far as speed and actually forcing water out, the heart is pushing out more water. If they ran for the same amount of time, you would get more water out with the heart versus the Bissell. However, I will say the spray pattern on the Bissell seems a little more fine to me, a little more of a mist, which I actually like because you're not going to be oversaturating your upholstery or your carpets or anything like that. So I kind of, I, I'm going to call this one a wash because depending on what you're using it for would determine the winner. Because for me, again, working on upholstery and stuff in cars, I don't want to completely soak everything. So having a longer working time out of the Bissell is more beneficial to me than a little bit more water output, but a much shorter runtime. So next up, we're going to be testing the suction power of these things. So I'm gonna fill up my measuring bucket with just a bunch of water. I'm gonna take the hose from each of these machines, put it in, and see how long it takes for it to fill its dirty water tank. So the Bissell is gonna be up first. So for this test, I'm turning it on, sticking it into the water, and this thing ran for 37 seconds and sucked up four and a half liters of water before it shut down. It actually went above where it should and then started spitting out a little bit of water, but it was still sucking until that point. Now the heart, the fill capacity on this thing isn't very much. So when I'm gonna run this test, I'll see, you'll see guys, it runs all the way up to here. But on the side of the, of the canister, it shows max is right here, which is not a lot of water at all. However, it did continue to suck past that point. So I turned it on, put it in the water, and it ran for eight seconds until it maxed out and wouldn't, it wouldn't suck anymore. So then I took that solution, poured that into the measuring bucket again, and that was only one and a half liters of solution that was sucked up in eight seconds. So again, guys, if we were to compare these apples to apples, the four and a half liters that this took 37 seconds with the uh, Bissell would have taken 24 seconds with the heart machine. So as far as suction goes, the heart does win here. But again, it is a brand new machine versus the Bissell's older, so I don't know if that's affecting anything. But I will say, because the Bissell's uh, output of water is more of a fine mist, it doesn't need to suck quite as much out, except for when you're trying to pull stains, so we'll test that in a little bit here too. But regardless guys, the runtime here is gonna be a big imp important thing as well, and the Bissell's significantly longer runtime. Why is that important? Because as you're working on a job or you're cleaning something up, you don't wanna have to constantly go empty out your tank and refill it to keep going. That's annoying. The Bissell has a longer runtime, which is very, very important. But if we're just talking about the suction, the heart one. Now for the last test, I'm going to take a floor mat out of a vehicle. I'm actually going to pour some muscle milk protein shake, chocolate protein shake onto this thing. So I'm gonna pour it on, rub it in a little bit, pour some more on top so that it saturates in and let it sit for five minutes. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and use the machine to suck it out and see how it works. So the Bissell's up first, water is injecting in, it's sucking it out and doing a great job. As you can see, it's lifting everything out. It's not completely dried into the carpet, so that's helping us here, but um, it's doing a fantastic job. Bill, you can still see kind of an outline of where it was, but I think that's really just from uh, the extra saturation from the protein shake. I don't think it's actually a stain anymore, but we'll see that down the road. Now next up, we're gonna switch over to the heart. So the same exact thing here. We're just using water, pumping that through the sprayer, having it suck it up, and it's doing a fantastic job as well. Can't complain on either of these. They both just seem to be pretty much performing the exact same. One thing to note though, very, very important thing to note is while you're using these, the heart machine where the suction is and where the spray comes out is a pretty big gap. And why is that a problem for me is especially if you're trying to work on an edge, you can't get to it. You have to take the spray pattern and spray it and then go in with the, to, with the vacuum part to suck it out. It's because it, it's just too far away from each other. Versus the Bissell, it's angled more right up to where the suction is, which is a more ideal. And that definitely resembles much more of a premium uh, carpet extractor. I have a Mighty Light uh, 8070 heated machine. Spray pattern goes right to where the suction is, so you're not it's just a faster removal of the water, and I like that better. So between these two machines, which one should you get? Again, the heart is currently on sale for 69 bucks, so it's half the cost of the Bissell. Now, if cost is your main concern, and you're just using it for small jobs around the house, the heart's a fantastic machine. If you're using it for anything else and you want to be able to have a longer work time, you can't beat the Bissell here, guys. It's just the heart doesn't have the runtime that I would want. So if you're looking to get something for your detailing business, if you're just getting started and you can't afford the expensive Mighty Machine, um, between these two, the Bissell is gonna be your choice. Otherwise, go with the heart for just easy cleanups around the house. So that's it, guys. I hope you like that comparison. Again, both these machines are a great choice, uh, but in my opinion, the Bissell is the winner here for sure. So with that said, guys, I appreciate all of you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.